Durban is still without a municipal manager. Political parties in the Eteguini metro can't reach agreement on who to appoint. The opposition accuses the metro of running a secretive appointment process. It blocked attempts by the ANC to appoint a municipal manager. But Eteguini Mayor Mkolisi Kaunda insists the interview process was above board. ANC is Letiwe Mluli is watching developments for us and she joins us now live. Uh, Letiwe, this process was supposed to have been concluded at the end of March. That was last week. It's seems as though it's still going to take a while for the different political parties to come to an agreement there. Well, Masako, the mayor did indicate that on Tuesday next week they will be meeting as council and they will be having more conversations about um, hiring the new municipal manager. But of course, this process has been marred by allegations of political interference and opposition parties are also calling to be part of the panel that actually selects people who will be recommended to council um, for this position. Of course, the last time Eteguini municipality had a municipal manager was last year in July and that was Sipon Zuza, who is currently facing charges of corruption along with the former mayor, Zandile Kumete. So um, last year, um, his contract came to an end. They reached an agreement with the Tegini municipality and he was paid out um, for his contract. And right now, there is a process that's ongoing to hire a new municipal manager. But um, that process, there's a lot of um, problems with that one because opposition parties are alleging that there is political interference and that um, the ANC is trying to get someone who is um, deployed by them and of course they are saying that this is not um, supposed to be happening but the mayor did brief us this morning and said every process that they've been followed or they've been following um, is above board he is of course part of that panel um, that gets to select the recommended people the recommended people um, who they then take to the council right now though I'm joined by Nicole Graham from the DA they've been very vocal about this process Nicole thank you so much much for joining me at ENCA. Um, tell, take us through what are your problems with the selection process. Sure. Let's see what the first, in the first instance, news broke a couple of weeks ago while the selection process was still ongoing that there had been a pre-selected candidate that had been decided upon by the ANC's Provincial Deployment Committee. At the time, we wrote to the mayor um, and it, it broke in the media, and that leak came from within the, the, inside the ANC. It wasn't something that we decided upon, you know, as, as opposition parties. The mayor has denied all of this, but we found that very, very hard to believe because the person that was named by the selection panel is the exact same candidate whose name leaked a couple of weeks before the selection process is concluded. So on Monday, the executive committee, the majority of the executive committee, of which I'm a member, and the council both said we are not accepting that process and the process must restart. And in that vein, we also want other people outside of the ANC to be represented in that process, members of EXCO, which is provided for, which is allowed in the law, because we don't trust that the ANC is acting in the people's best interest in this matter, and we want this to be done in a fair, transparent, and in a lawful way. Yeah. You've also called to be uh, part of the panel as opposition, opposition parties. Of course, we spoke to the mayor about this, and the only answer that he gave us was that you'll be meeting um, next Tuesday. What are you calling for as opposition parties? Well, the law allows for a, a bigger panel than what the ANC have used. The panel that was, that was used previously is the mayor, another ANC councillor, and a, a third person. So effectively, the ANC are controlling that process. We want there to be more members of the executive committee. The executive committee is split between the ANC's coalition and the opposition. And we believe that there must be some transparency in that process by allowing uh, members of the opposition, uh, which was the call of council on Monday, to expand that process. But I think now the process has been so badly marred. The law is quite clear that you cannot have a conflict of interest in that process, and we are not satisfied that, that hasn't happened. And the law is, is clear that there cannot be prejudice to applicants. Now, by saying that only people who are you know, in good standing with the ANC or have good relationships with the ANC can be part of that process or can be selected, uh, that, that, is, that, is, that is prejudicial. And I think that that's been a key finding of the State Capture Commission that this catered deployment process where the ANC subverts the law and sits in a room and says, this is the person we want for these reasons, is completely unlawful and it's not something that we as the DA will, will stand for any longer. Now, the Etagini Metro is in a coalition and it seems like um, any of the parties that are in coalition um, currently 
they are just not agreeing on anything. Is it working? Is it actually working for the people of the city? Look, I think since, since November, the situation in Etiquini has been very shaky. And for the last three or so weeks, it's been clear that the ground was moving quite quickly. We've got a number of key votes that are coming up. Uh, this, this vote was, was one of them. And I think that coalition has, has failed at its first test. And I think that the, the vote for the chair of, of MPAC, which is now vacant because that councillor was removed from the council, as well as the budget vote, are, are key. And what we've been saying all along is it's time to remove politics from this process and really to say what are the, the outcomes that the people of the city want to see and how can we agree on that. We have repeatedly cautioned the ANC, we have repeatedly cautioned the mayor that they don't have an outright majority. And the way that they've been conducting themselves from November to now has been with complete impunity, has been with complete disregard for the voices of opposition parties and for the will of the people in the city. So where we are now is saying this is not going to continue like this. I think that there are lots of discussions and conversations that need to be had because Etiquini is a complicated space and that council is a complicated council because of the outcome of the last election. But I think the writing is on the wall for that coalition that it, 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 it is not going to continue um, like it has been. It seems like you are working quite well with the deputy mayor from the ABC. I think, you know, on this vote, we, the, the, the deputy mayor voted with us. That was our proposal that he, that he voted with. But the majority of council voted with that process. Obviously, the deputy mayor is the one people are talking about. The majority of council voted. I think there were one or two parties who voted with the ANC. Everybody else voted the same way. So I don't think it necessarily speaks to a relationship between us and the deputy mayor or us and any other party. For us as the DA, we will always say, this is what we think should happen. This is what's right. This is what's wrong. And um, we will work with anybody who who acts in the people's best interest on a case by case basis. You know, councils meet monthly and make important decisions monthly. And we said from the start, people who are prepared to work with us where it matters, our doors are open and we'll work with them. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to make compromised decisions for the sake of power, for the sake of influence, for the sake of money. That's not what we do. So we have been um, communicating with the deputy mayor, but we've also been communicating with literally everybody else, because that is what is in the best interest of this council. This council needs people to put petty arguments aside and get down to the real issues, because the city is in a complete mess, and if we are to start to address that, it requires maturity, it requires a reasonable voice in the interest of everybody who lives here. Last question, Nicole. Your um, suggestion or your thoughts on the recommended person by the panel, do you think he's qualified enough? He is, of course, allegedly coming from a municipality that is currently facing a lot of troubles. Do you think that he was qualified enough? I think that our issue is with the process. You know, I was not a member of the panel. I have not engaged with all of these individuals. And I think it would be remiss of me to say that I think this person is or isn't qualified. What I can say is that I'm deeply uncomfortable with agreeing to a candidate that has the backing of the ANC's deployment committee. And that is what seems to have happened in this instance. So I don't think that I can personally criticize the individual because I don't know the individual. I've never worked with this person. But we have a problem with the process. And you can't have fair outcomes if you don't have fair processes. We want a fair process, and then we will, you know, we will deliberate on what we think the outcome should be. But the process is what matters. The law is what matters. It's not there you know, for the ANC to play games with. Thank you so much. Thanks, Letiwe. Well, Masako, that is the DA's Nicole Graham just basically saying that they want this process to start all over because they do not agree with the processes that have been taking place. Of course, the mayor did say that everything was above board, but there will be another council meeting coming up on Tuesday. All right, let's see, Mluli. Let's leave it there for now.